Uh, hello, viewers. Uh, today's topic is uh, Huntington's disease. Uh, but before starting the topic, I would like to request you to subscribe to this channel for more information uh, and, uh, uh, for uh, videos uh, on this channel. Now, uh, Huntington's disease is uh, caused by genetic degeneration of nerve cells in certain areas of the brain. And the symptoms uh, uh, of the uh, Huntington's disease include like uh, uh, mood swing, uh, in irritability, depression, and anger, you know, so these are the common symptoms. And the disease may affect uh, a person's judgment, memory, and other cognitive uh, functions. In some, um, there can be uncontrolled movements of uh, uh, in the um, uh, fingers, you know, feet, face, trunk, or the problems with the coordination or uh, balance, you know. Uh, adult onset uh, uh, Huntington disease uh, with its uh, disability, uncontrolled movements most often begins uh, in the middle age, you know, and uh, however, uh, can begin at any, any, any age and uh, the disease tends to progress more rapidly uh, than the earlier it begins, you know. Now, pre-symptomatic genetic testing uh, may be done on people who do not show symptoms uh, but have uh, the parents with the, this disease, you know, and uh, there is no treatment to stop or reverse uh, uh, this condition. However, there are some uh, medications that can help uh, keep the symptoms under control. And the treatment of uh, uh, the Huntington disease include uh, the drug uh, uh, tetrabenzene or uh, anti uh, um, uh, psychotic uh, drugs you know or antidepressants and uh, tranquilizers as well you know uh, the patients who exercise uh, uh, tend to be better than those who don't you know uh, a person with uh, this condition may need assistance such as home care or occupational therapy may be needed sometime you know so you should con uh, uh, contact uh, uh, your local doctor to find out the further information about this disease or any sport groups available in the area you know Thank you very much for watching this video and if you need any more information about any disease or medical condition you can visit our website www.diseaseandtreatment.com